President Donald Trump tweeted for his followers to watch a Fox News show. Its presenter called for a top Republican official to be sacked. Is this execution via Trump tweet? President Trump had placed his faith in Republican House Speaker Paul Ryan to build a workable replacement for Obamacare, the national health insurance plan that has been in Republican sites since its inception. He had just one job to do. And, as far as the president was concerned, it was a done deal. The Trump-branded proposal, however, fell dead at the doors of Congress. Despite having a clear majority, House Republican leaders failed to win enough support from their own members for the replacement legislation to even be put to a vote. He had been told that everything was under control, the leadership could deliver, he didn't he have to pay too much attention, come in at the very end and close the deal. And it got to be a total mess, comma, high profile Republican power broker Newt Gingrich told Sean Hannity on Fox News yesterday. I can guarantee you that if this had been one of his hotels, one of his buildings, one of his golf courses, there'd be a lot of personnel changes tonight. And I think what you're gonna see is that he's gonna rethink how he's going to approach the Congress based on this outcome. Because it was so totally, utterly unacceptable. It seems President Trump, who has publicly stated he does not blame Ryan for the fiasco, is doing just that but in a roundabout kind of way. Early this morning, he apparently innocently tweeted a plug for a Fox News political commentary show. He then went out for a round or two of golf, his twelfth session in his nine-week-old presidency. The first thing the Fox News presenter did when the show went to air eleven hours later, call for Paul Ryan to go. Is the writing on the wall for Paul Ryan's career? Watch this space. Or, rather, Trump has Twitter account, or account.